Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in one of our last videos, we have seen how to use Firas Total Free Edition to submit uh, any file or URL to Virus Total platform for antivirus scanning. I have also shown you some of the basic search functionality that free version of Virus Total provides using which you can you know, do some basic search using file hashes uh, on Virus Total free platform. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at the premium version of Virus Total, which is also known as Virus Total Intelligence or Virus Total Enterprise. So before we start, let's uh, see what Virus Total Enterprise is. So this is the official introductory page of Virus Total Intelligence. Uh, as you can see, it uh, says uh, Virus Total Intelligence basically, you know, allows uh, you to search virus total data set for malware samples, URL, domains, IP addresses according to binary properties, antivirus detection verdicts, static uh, features, uh, behavior pattern such as communication with specific IP address hosts, hosts uh, submission metadata, many other op, uh, notions. Uh, it actually allows you to you know pinpoint uh, files similar to your suspect being studied. Uh, sample matching search criteria can be downloaded for further study so it has couple of advanced features you, you know uh, whichever file gets submitted uh, through virustotal.com uh, this platform actually allows threat hunter to you know search uh, samples among those submitted files for certain characteristics so that's all about virustotal intelligence uh, so to be able to log into virustotal intelligence you have to go to the sign in option and after that you will be asked to enter your you know uh, username and password so once you sign in this is what you will get to see and as you can see we are actually inside vt enterprise and the home page is quite similar uh, as you can see we are allowed to you know upload files urls and search mm. and a couple of extra features that get activated when you are you know, logged into virus total intelligence which is this intelligence this intelligence uh, tab uh, intelligence tab and this hunting tab uh, this graph and api and um, here are some of the uh, as you can see we have access to vt api as well vt intelligence vt hunting vt graph vt monitor so in upcoming videos i'll you know explain in each one of these features uh, to you guys and i'll try to explain how these features can be used to hunt threats from the wild using virus total so now just to give you a basic idea on how does this virus total integers intelligence differs from the free version of virus total uh, i am going to show you some search functionalities uh, and this example also i'll search a file hash and this is the file hash I am willing to look at and I will just paste it here and enter. So as you can see in this uh, this uh, intelligence also uh, the UI looks uh, quite similar uh, but you know it, it actually it has more features I let me quickly explain those to you. So as you can see uh, these tags we have seen earlier uh, now we have more tags and these tags are actually clickable so what uh, how does it work so for example uh, for example you can see uh, this file was tagged uh, as you know auto open so if you click on it it is going to show you you know similar files which was actually tagged as uh, uh, tagged as having auto open functionality so it's almost similar to you know hashtags so this also creates a uh, creates OLE object. Uh, so create OLE, DOCX, IPv4 pattern, uh, macros, all those things. Uh, these are tagged. And also this antivirus detection engines also, you know, in, in, we, in the free version, we didn't have any hyperlink. As you can see right now, we have hyperlinks over here. So if you just click on it, it is going to show you all the other samples that were actually detected by uh, this adware antivirus engine as VB Trojan Valerian I need one. So I'm going to quickly uh, Open it in the new tab to show you how, how does the result look like So 
so as you can see uh, all these samples in virus total database actually you know is having uh, detection for uh, this vv trojan valeria 981 uh, so these are the features that were actually not present in uh, the free edition of virus total so that additionally you can get if you have the premium access and uh, so let's move on to the next tab which is actually details uh, and these are quite uh, similar md5 and sha hashes the history uh, the names um, the files name that were actually uploaded as you can see a dot docm and uh, it was an open xml document that also it shows and obviously uh, in the premium version you're going to get some extra um, extra features uh, in these tabs and it also shows you the file structure uh, uh, word under word slash docm.xml package relationship it shows uh, and apart from that uh, it also you know gives you some more some information about uh, if you ex extract the open XML file what is the size on the disk of that uncompressed file so it shows you that as well uh, because it performs some static analysis mm. and it you know gives you a lot of metadata uh, exif to file metadata uh, output this tab let's move to the next tab uh, now uh, the relation now we have an additional tab called relations uh, the, the, the relations tab actually you know helps you uh, deep dive into that files uh, since it was a docx file docx files are basically you know open xml files uh, open xml files are actually you know compressed files mm, so mostly uh, those are actually zip files uh, the most of the internal files are actually zipped into one package and uh, uh, the AV engine usually to scan those files they actually uncompress those files so once these files were uncompressed uh, so these were the internal files that were actually you know uh, that was actually found and it is uh, it is giving you the file wise detection uh, as you can see uh, the word slash VBA project vva proj.bin actually was having most of the detection uh, so which actually you know gives you an idea uh, that uh, this was having the malicious signature this particular file the binary file uh, was having the malicious signature within the docx file and rest of the file were actually you know uh, uh, it was mostly clean mm, so now let's move on to the behavior tab uh, so behavior tab is quite uh, similar to the free version uh, as you can see uh, we have you know a lot of uh, runtime behaviors it has listed as you can see these are the files that were uh, you know it tried to access uh, and uh, files written on the disk file deleted file copied registry operations registry key set registry key deleted etc etc and one extra thing that you are actually getting in in the virus total uh, intelligence is all these files are actually you know now clickable all this uh, you will actually find hyperlinks on all these files so if you just click on it it is going to show you other files uh, in the virus total database which is having the similar characteristics so if you just click on it since actually it is looking into a lot of uh, huge number of files it takes some time so actually these are the files having same characteristics so uh, these uh, files also when they were executed it tried to access this uh, particular file uh, this particular uh, dll win iame32.dll so this is how you can actually you know find out similar files within virus total so that is a major advantage that it has and it you know helps uh, in it helps a threat hunter in many ways so now let's go to the next tab which is content tab uh, so content tabs are basically since uh, it's a it what is it was an open xml file it is actually show you the uh, the binary dump of that file so Mm, these are the string that it uh, it has you know found out within the printable string not only strings uh, it has found in the in the files and after that we have this hex tab which is actually the hex dump and preview also it shows uh, 
but yeah this preview is not interactive due to a potential external link so it actually takes some screenshot of that particular page and um, I'm not going to do that if you want to we don't want to interact with it uh, for the time being so it shows you you know uh, what was the you know what was happening on screen when actually the file was executed in the sandbox uh, so this is also you know additional feature that you get in virus total intelligence uh, so here is one more thing as you can see uh, this is this is having the submission details uh, this are the, the this file was submitted twice with two different names one the first time it was submitted the name was a.docm uh, and second time it was submitted was with this name and it has it is shows you the countries as well it, first it was uh, uploaded from ireland and next time it was uploaded from canada so yeah these are the details that you get uh, and and community tab is almost the same as free version so you can actually you know add comment to share uh, your extra input about that particular files and one more uh, the couple of extra features that you you know and that you will uh, see it appears when you are actually logged into virus total intelligence is the download file option the free version doesn't allow you to download any random files it is it allows you to search files but it it doesn't allow you to download additional files so that download option is there uh, search for similar file extra option is there that I will I'll cover in the later videos uh, multi similarity this is also you know uh, this is also quite useful for threat hunting uh, so I'll come to this uh, features later on and after that we have reanalyze option that was there in the free version as well so if you just click on it it is going to you know uh, run this file through all this antivirus uh, engine once again and it will scan it and uh, there could be some extra detection as well um, if you, you know, run it once again uh, so that's all I wanted to share in this video so I hope you have found this video useful and if you uh, like the kind of content I upload in this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. I really appreciate your time. Uh, so thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.